There are about 11,000 polling stations are, do not have a, a network coverage. Um, that this is so, is so concern to us, given the fact that a number of these polling stations are in some of our strongholds. We don't know, understand how a place like Siaya, Homa Bay, Migori and so on could be out of network. We think that this is basically something that is deliberate, is meant to do something fishy during the transmission of the results. Uh, we also did raise with the IBC yesterday that ballot papers must be stamped for them to be counted as valid. And that is the law as it existed, as we know it. And uh, anybody else who was trying to say that you can have an, a ballot paper which is not stamped, somebody who really wants to do rigging. And this is completely unacceptable to us. Uh, we would like to also, we also raise the issue of our security forces attempt to try to use the security forces to intimidate voters uh, tomorrow. And we say that, for example, in Kisumu already there are some menacing police officers who have been taken there. And we're saying that all this is aimed at suppressing turnout in our strongholds. Uh, we also got information that uh, there was um, an aircraft which came from uh, Laikipia Air Base and flew to Nairobi carrying certain uh, uh, materials, which are basically called smoke bombs. These smoke bombs uh, are not like tear gas. They produce a lot of smoke, which can be very scary if they explode it. And uh, that uh, it can be used to basically scare people, disperse people away. They told us some were dropped here in Nairobi. Others have been taken towards uh, Lamu side. And our fear is that this might be used under the pretext of Al-Shabaab uh, attack to again scare people from participating in the elections. Uh, we want to appeal to our security forces to desist from being used in a way that would compromise the integrity of these elections. My colleague, Honorable Msalem Devadi, who is the chairman of our elections board, is going to be addressing the media later on today about some of our latest discoveries, what we have un uncovered uh, uh, lately, uh, coming, for example, from the Inspector General of Police, giving instructions that people in the Jubilee strongholds must vote by midday. Because after midday, tomorrow, the um, EBITs are not going to function. They are going to charge them off so that they can vote manually. Uh, so we really, really also uh, want to take this opportunity finally to appeal to our supporters all over the country to turn up in large numbers tomorrow. Don't feel intimidated. This is a historic moment for you, my fellow Kenyans. Don't run away from your place of, of, of voting. Don't be scared by this um, empty threats and intimidation by Jubilee. It is only just meant to instill fear in you so that you don't exercise your democratic right in these elections. Please be Kenyans, be a Kenyan patriot, turn up tomorrow and vote uh, in these elections. Don't be scared. Vote for change for our country. But even those who are not going to vote for us as NASA, you have your democratic right to exercise it tomorrow and vote. In so doing, you'll make Kenya 
a stronger place, and a stronger country. Finally, I want to also uh, congratulate my worthy opponent, Honorable Uhuru Kenyatta. NASA presidential candidate there. We apologize uh, for that uh, tiny technical hitch. We will be sorting it out, but we've gotten much of what he had to say earlier on. Uh, claims uh, that uh, an aircraft left the Laikipia Air Base uh, to Nairobi uh, sometime this morning carrying, air, uh, carrying smoke bombs, as well as uh, alleging that uh, the voters in the strongholds of Jubilee have been instructed to vote before midday and then after that uh, network will be cut off or the internet will be cut off some of the allegations he's making but urging his supporters to come out in large numbers and exercise their democratic right to vote. That was the national NASA presidential candidate Rilo Dinga in a press briefing ahead of the polls tomorrow which are just 16 hours away.